A Tennessee man was arrested this past Friday night after he walked into a bar, he dropped his pants and his underwear, and he attempted to have sex with an ATM machine, according to the police report. That's right, this is uh, Lonnie Hutton, he's 49, and uh, he was arrested at the Borough Bar and Grill in Murfreesboro, which is a watering hole down there, uh, after making a 9 p.m. deposit. That's what it says in the article here, that's kind of funny, I suppose. Uh, we've got a quote from the uh, local police department. Uh, the officer was dispatched to the bar where a witness said that Hutton walked to the ATM machine and pulled down his pants and underwear exposing his genitals. Officer M. Ricard added, Mr. Hutton then attempted to have sexual intercourse with the ATM. After his encounter with the ATM, Hutton then began to walk nude around the bar, thrusting his hips in the air. Hutton was subsequently escorted from the bar and told to sit at a wooden picnic table, but once outside the bar, Hutton allegedly again exposed himself again and engaged in sexual intercourse with the wooden picnic table. Mm -hmm. So uh, just to recap, uh, he tried to have sex with an ATM machine, then he had tried to have sex with a picnic table. Um, I guess the moral of the story is there's not much to do in Tennessee. Well, it's nice to know that uh, his girlfriend doesn't have to spend a lot of time dressing up. <laughs> <laughs> right, because yeah. apparently this guy could get turned on by anything, it doesn't matter, but um, you know, every time you see one of these stories, my initial reaction is, oh, he's got to be on drugs. Like, this is some crystal meth no, or bath salt, something. Yeah. Those that dirt, but that guy, I mean, I have no dirty, idea. Those dirty, slutty ATM machines. They're you know? always putting you on, right? They're, they're half naked. Yeah, they're always they're, dressed provocatively. With their holes everywhere, yeah. right? And their little slits, you know? <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> With their little and slits. And always conscious her mom is watching. No, 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 I don't want my mom. As soon as we start talking about sex, she turns it off. Okay. But um, no, but I, I, this story actually reminded me of two things. First, uh, one of the first stories I did on the Young Turks was a guy who had sex with a picnic table. He got caught. He got arrested. I mean, it was it, it was really what put me on the map as a as a reporter, yeah. and I yeah. was really proud of myself. Can you tell so us a family. bit more about that story? Because I think visually, people need to understand what having sex with a picnic table would entail. It, the picnic table had a hole of sorts. Oh, uh, so he was. Yeah, I was he just was picturing like, humping, no, just humping, no, like he, dry humping. But my was, understanding of the story at the time, and again, this was like seven years ago, was that he. He inserted his penis in some sort of hole that was in the picnic table or on the picnic table. Yeah, the hole for so, the umbrella, oh, right? Oh, the umbrella Something. hole. Yeah, I mean, he's doing his thing. Yeah. But, but we, we also did that story about the woman. It's actually our highest viewed uh, video. Really? Woman orgasms 300 times a day, and she had a literal disorder. Um, I, I apologize, I forget what the disorder's name is, but who knows? He might have some sort of disorder where he's like constantly, you know, aroused and he needs to get off somehow. I don't know what his issue is. <laughs> is but you know I feel bad for the guy yeah well there are some I don't know about that disorders sometimes you gotta get it you know but there are disorders where people are attracted to weird things like attracted yeah, like to their bridge. computer or, a, or, or inanimate a, objects yeah. there is some sort of sexual disorder so should we have a little sympathy for this guy who's banging an ATM machine it's just uh, an ATM machine it just seems no I just always assume ATM machines are dirty anyway so this There's, doesn't really change my mind about anything or make me feel bad about anything I feel bad for him because now his mugshot is all over the place, and people know him as the guy who tried to have sex with an ATM. Yeah. Like, I feel bad for this. His life is ruined. It's over. I don't know how ruined. I bet his life wasn't all shits and giggles before this. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure this guy's been treading water for quite a while. You know, he's. Uh, I don't know why I have like a weird like sense of sympathy for this guy. I, know. Yeah, I have a little sympathy. You know, for Tom Barry has that joke about yeah. the guy who got caught masturbating at the ATM. He goes, "I know how you feel. I've checked my balance. There's a little bit more than I thought I had, and you want to celebrate." Well, you just got to move that party along <laughs> and resist the temptations of those dirty, slutty, little ATM machines. <laughs>